We're doing a little limit testing, if you will. It's basically trying to see if it's just strictly a mid game strat or can we kind of push it in, build it up, full send the strategy, seeing how far we can push them before they just go flat and don't work anymore. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. Um, we can run Alchemides, I suppose. Not the most exciting thing ever, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Looks good. Looks great, actually. We get two wins in a row. It's exciting. We got level. Hatching chick, always. Get a Hercules beetle cooking. See, the thing I love about Hercules beetle is that you can keep him at level one the entire time and then you just kick him up to level two and it's like he's been level two the entire time <laughs> you know it's like he's been level two his whole life he's just been living there all day great not many pets have it something like that like goldfish not even close don't even get me started goldfish doesn't do a dang thing lucky cat hold you all right, we're getting somewhere. We're starting to get going. We're getting the cooking up a little bit. Some solid trades here. Ooh, we need to get ourselves a better fish. Level me. And level me. There's a blobfish. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let me think. <laughs> Let me think on this. Dragonfly seems really good. Well, you're gone. Let's do this just in case we want it. I don't want to think that far ahead yet. We want Blobfish for Lucky Cat at some point, but maybe not yet. Maybe we go for some, some win focused stuff here. Right, do this, sell you, and then we can go for Hippo? I mean, Dragonfly, we're buffing the Hatching Chick. Probably Hatching Chick and the Hercules Beetle that we're going to sell. So what if we just do this? We got a 710 Hippo, not too bad. That'll get us there. Will it? Yes, with our, with our homie we'll get there. <laughs> I actually wasn't sure for a second there. Oh my lord. Okay. We go here. We go Hippocampus. Probably gonna go Lucky Cat, all things considered. Yeah. So now we're looking for Blobfish on the Lucky Cat. We don't have any Team Spirits, unfortunately. But yeah, I think this is good. We'll throw... Organize like this, I think. Dude, this toy is doing work for us, I'll tell you that much. This is fantastic. Okay. I think it's time we sell you. Sell the Hercules Beetle Side Stack Hippocampus. Or do we dragonfly? I think I like hippocampus better. We could also falcon instead of the hippo, but let's do this. Alright, blobfish me. What do we got? Come on. Come on, where's the blobfish? There he is. And a hatching chick just to round it out. Maybe an okapi too? Hold on, let's think what we're going to do here. So we're going to combine Hippocampus. We're going to go Blobfish in front of you, Hatching Chick here. The Hippo's got to go? Interesting. Maybe we don't buff the Hippo. Because Hippo's got to go in favor of Blobfish. Now we can combine Blobfish. If we want the Okapi, the Hippo's got to go. 
which maybe honestly is not a bad thing. He's a 9-9, that's great. I'm glad to have him here, but maybe we don't need him that much, you know? And it's a draw, okay. Draw it, four hearts, we'll take it. Okay, so we know what we're doing. We're going here, we're going here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. If the blobfish is sticking around, we can we can build them up a little bit. Don't need the lucky cat. Unless we were to like side stack them, but that seems excessive. Do like two lucky cat blobfish combos? No. The scaling isn't there. We need the hatching chick, we need the Okapi for permanent scaling. <laughs> no, 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 no. The rhino gets us. Hmm. Maybe we go here. Maybe it's not an Okapi angle right now. I know it's really good with the hippocampus. It's gotta be, right? I wanna go Phoenix, and <laughs> that's my problem. I think we see it through. You're getting a permanent two attack every time we roll. That's pretty good. I think we send it. That tiny little hippo actually killed somebody? What? How does that happen? It was like a 216 hippo. Crazy. Well, I would love a melon on somebody. I don't know how we're gonna make that one work. Holy moly. Okay. Level you. Side stack. Or not side stag, just get the hatching chick going. I mean, we could straight pivot into a lioness. But that's not as exciting. Holy Christmas, dude. That's a lot of hatching chicks. We do clear him out, but it's not going to be enough. Alright. Hatching chick, cook him up. Get a little bit of the Okapi going. We could get him level 2 here. But I think we should roll, right? The blobfish feels like a bad portion of this team, <laughs> I'll be honest. He's not feeling like he's doing a whole lot for us. Gonna hang on to some popcorn, I guess. I like the Lucky Cat Blobfish in theory. In practice, it seems a little underwhelming. You know? That was just unfortunate. Like, he's kind of just there to, like, absorb hits, <laughs> I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Let's make sure we roll five times here. Two, three. I mean, I'm not even looking for anything except for maybe we'll just do the blob for the stats. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with this team anymore. You're already 50 attack. <laughs> Who is the hatching chick buffing at this point? I don't know. Maybe the hippocampus should go. Ooh, ooh. You're on a Cerberus? Get hatching chick on the Cerberus? Is that even good? Probably better than the hippocampus. <laughs> it's just three attack. One time. Not very exciting. You're already 50.
That's unfortunate. I can't... I can't say I love the blobfish. <laughs> I think the blobfish on the lucky cat is like kind of fun. And yeah, it gives you some gold, but that's about it. You know, you don't want a 4-8 emptiness on your team late game. I don't know. Maybe it's not even a late game, you know? Maybe it's just kind of like a nice pivot vibe. Not a huge fan. All right. Well, the blobfish was not really it. The Okapi hippocampus seemed really strong. If you can just stack one level three hippocampus or even level two, that's probably fine. Ooh, we get the win, nice. If you can stack three hippo or two, two or three Okapis and then a level two or so hippocampus, I think you're cooking. High key. And then you give them green peppers. They all just nuke everything they touch. I mean, I. I can't see the issue with it. Dude, we're getting the worst mana snipes in history. <laughs> Not a fan. Mermel me? Something I'd never thought I'd hear myself say. Obviously we go hatching chick here. Is muskox even a thing? Like, be honest. Is Muskox doing anything for us? Probably not. More Lucky Cat, huh? I like Lucky Cat more than Chipmunk. Even if it's just like kind of a one-off kind of vibe. You know, you grab him for a bit. Get a little economy as you level him up. You know, that kind of thing. Mmm, not feeling any of these guys. I mean, I'd love a level 2 fish, don't get me wrong. But like, what the heck is that gonna do? Maybe we need some mermals with our lucky cat, you know? Maybe that's what we're missing. Mermal lucky cat with the blobfish. We can try it. I still don't think it'll be that good, but... It's like a little more support, I guess. That hedgehog is saucing us out here. Plus the dolphin. What do you got for me, dear lord? Absolutely not. No thank you. Somehow we've ended up with like the exact same team as last time. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't like it very much. Lucky cat. Is two four? No, okay, hold on. Let's let's be realistic here. That's not good. <laughs> Even if we have a level three mermal. Plus three plus six in battle means nothing. Alright, we'll take a draw there. This team is absolute garbage. <laughs> In the best way possible, of course. There's the blobfish if we want it. I'll take it, but I'm gonna pill it. Just so we're all clear. Take the stoat. Maybe we can buy sell into something cool. Take it. We get the win by one heart. Ooh, Hippocampus with the Okapi? Alright, alright. Gonna make good on my promise. Hold on. I feel like we gotta get the Hatching Chick here. That's like a must. Which begs the question, why didn't I play Hippocampus just now? To that. I say, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Go Rhino. Then we'll roll through. Looking for bananas maybe on our turtle. 
and definitely Okapis. Found a banana. We can banana pill. Maybe get a big rhino going. Dude, it's the 1-1 one, one spot out here. What the heck? Alright. We go here. This is fantastic news. If we can get that early hatching chick level 2, early that means we're golden, right? The crane did it for him. If it wasn't for the crane, I think we would've got it. Kill me. Any pills out there? There's another Okapi. Hmm. I think we got to all in on it, right? Do we ditch the turtle? Probably. There's a hippocampus. What if we ditch everybody? <laughs> Yo, here. Any hatching chicks would be cool. Dude. Hippocampus out the wazoo over here. Somehow we actually won there. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. I want to make sure we're getting enough levels on these guys. Or enough stats, I should say. Okay, this is feeling really strong, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Is Hippocampus actually goaded? I mean, we don't need any of those, right? <laughs> we just full send these guys? We look for another green pepper. Is this too much? Maybe not. I think we still roll here. Maybe next turn we'll throw it in. And we'll get him level 2, which would be kind of nice. And a nice. Let's get the Hippocampus level 3. I think that sounds nice. Okay. He's got big everything. I'll give it to you. You win this one. The Quetzal? I guess having these guys, hold on, they don't get more triggers, do they? No, he just gets more stuff. I think I'd rather just have another one of them, right? And like, maybe we don't even care about getting him leveled. We go here. Get rid of you. <laughs> Feels like we might be getting lost in the sauce. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. We're just looking for green peppers, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> That's all we really need right now. Okay, so we're susceptible to snipes. Wait, I think we're susceptible to a lot of things, to be honest. Like, hopefully the green pepper will get it for us. If we find any, that is. We're not finding any? Okay. <laughs> I I haven't really planned for when we don't find a single other green pepper. <laughs> I 
I guess we just hope. That's our backup plan. Hope and pray they don't have snipes. They have snipes. <laughs> snipes didn't even matter. As long as they have anything that isn't snipes or summons. Then we're good. <laughs> if they're just lying over and dying, then we're good. <laughs> to be fair, again, I think we got lost in the sauce a little bit. Too many Okapis, too many Hippocampus. But, I don't know. I mean, they're fun strats, don't get me wrong. I think there's, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm doing them right either. There's probably a better way to play them. But, are they winning strats compared to alternatives? I wouldn't say so. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.